Ah, uh, hello. More stairs. Yeah, I, I actually played this game before Coliseum, so I, I thought, like, this place has just been rusted over through time, but, you know, it's it actually looks this bad from the first one. You know, not the first one. I am back here, aren't I? Oh my god. W what the fudge biscuits? Are you kidding me? I don't even think you have escape ropes in this game. Ugh. So pissed. Urgh. Where is the exit? <laughs> it's not fair. It's just not fair. It's taken several videos already, and it's just not fair. <laughs> See, there's that I. The... <laughs> No! <laughs> Did you see I lost the signal? <laughs> I just got out right now. No! <laughs> oh well, since I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing next, I was meaning to show this off when I first got out of uh, first got to Pyrite Town. I'm all I'm all headed now. I was gonna show up the Coliseum, but you know, since I'm just gonna record in bulk and then cut it up. You know, I like to cut things. Um, I can just do this now. Yeah. Onward to victory. I'm sorry, that's a bit cocky of me. Onward to potential victory, only, even though I'm like over twice level of my opponents. So that's one of the glories of like turning only one Pokemon in single player mode for some of the for like the handheld games. Like you're pretty much always at twice the opponent's level except for like Ruby and Sapphire. But they changed that in Emerald, because Emerald had like twice as many trainers. I'm glad they did that. But like I know you could do that in Sinnoh, because the levels would be potentially not, uh, not potentially. Typically like consistent, they just go up slowly instead of like in um in Johto where all the like everything would be like because I know you, you you're still facing like level seven opponents up to like the third gym but then like whenever you get to a boss the levels just skyrocket you know, overall like oh my god with crap so like I know in Sinnoh you're pit typically always twice the this level. Typically, because like, you know, the EXP, base EXP, and the level of hunters is usually different. I was reading stuff on Serebii.net about that. I can't remember if it's like a map. And it said stuff like, that's where I got the whole thing. I actually wanted to see how worth it Absol's super luck ability was. It's, a, it's in ranks. It's really... So th that's when you realize how intricate these games really are. They're not just little kid games. They're really well thought out with design. Even the stuff you don't see, like the damage calculation. I know it's like a simple equation, but it's, it's still pretty good for like, like the Game Boy process thing, I guess. Um, there's so much lag. Oh my god, I hate this thing. Holy crap, I won. Huh. Huh. I'm on fire. My Wingle, my Ronan, my Roselia. No! Speaking of Wingle, you know, which little crappy trivia, but it, it's so stupid that Wingle cannot learn Surf, but Pelipper can. I mean, obviously Pelipper is bigger, but still, seagulls float, float on the water all the time, don't they? Facing, I keep missing. Like, like so now when I'm talking, I'm just like, oh crap, up. Uh, you know, with Smeargle's sketch, you can actually give it any move you want, any any move set. You know, you, you know what? Screw it. It's just obnoxious. With sketch, like I didn't know this for a time, and I got really pissed off at this Japanese kid on my side. This Smeargle used like judgment. I'm like, oh, that 
Yeah, okay, that's a load of shit. You're obviously a hexor, go to hell. All that jazz that I we're gonna talk about. So I really hate people that have it. And yet, not because I'm not jealous. I could easily go to freaking GameStop and buy those extra. I, I just decide not to. Because it's just. What does that sound? I mean, it's just sound outside. I could easily do that, but no, I have honor, dignity, and pride that I am, like, actually training my Pokemon. Which, is, oh, when I was talking to Final Mess Link, he was actually, like, I'm not sure if impressed is the right word, but he was like, yeah, that's pretty cool, then. Now, speaking of hacking, I was thinking about this earlier, that I might have to cheat at some point. All those Pokemon I have, in that, in that, even in that tournament video, you know, those are all Pokemon training and stuff. If you've seen that one, like, I expected more views back then, but anyway. You know, I bought that Pearl file, the Pearl file, but the, the Pearl game, like, in, in June of 2007, like, a month after its release, and I still have it. But the thing is really wearing down. It's starting to, like, not... The DS is starting to not accept it. You know, it's, it's only done that twice, but ugh, twice comes to thrice, and thrice comes like a billion times. So eventually, it won't work. I'm gonna be pissed. So I w I've been thinking about doing this for a while. It's keeping a log of all those the Pokemon that are absolutely important to me, like the Battle Revolution ones. You know, keeping a log of them. And if the game ever does stop working. I'll find a way to hack the back. It's same stats, same exact stats, down to it. down to the um exactness. Whatever. Uh, yeah. Exactly the same, nothing different. So in a way it'd be the, it'd be like not losing them. That would still be in my mind like no, those aren't really the, the ones I train. I don't know, I take it too seriously, but that, that's just really important. It's not, it's mainly the work I put into it, you know? It's not really the things themselves, it's the concept of what I've done, it not being in vain. You know, that's what some people just don't get, it's like, you know. I do take Pokemon too seriously, but that's something that's rational. It's like, you know. it's like if you write a book, and you're like one page from finishing it, go out and publish it, and it burns. Even if it was a sucky book, you still spent your time writing it, doing all that on it, and it'd all be wasted. You know, nobody wants that for themselves. So as if you hated somebody enough, you know, you'd want that on them. I know a few people that would wish horrible, horrible deaths upon, but, you know, that's just me. Creepy me. Wait, what the last battle? Holy crap, that... Uh, time flies. Anyway, he has a stumble and hit. This is awesome music, by the way. I love it. But they added, like, an extra section to it from the Coliseum games. Because, again, I played this before Coliseum, and I just like, oh, yeah, same music. But it, in Coliseum, it's just the same slow music over and over and over again. You know, it just keeps repeating and doesn't get to the cool part of it. Yeah. Ran <laughs> things to say. <laughs> well, but yeah, the whole Facebook thing. If anyone knows, like, the whole connecting accounts thing, I had it working for a while until I realized that I had another Facebook for my old. Uh, email address that I used for my uh, my YouTube account, but then I had to change that, get everything working right, and it, it will not connect properly. It, it'll just say some crap like, it wouldn't even say it won't work. It'll like say it's finished, but there'll be no outcome. I don't know if anyone else has that problem, but it, it's really making me very angry. This whole reason I'm doing that is like, 